So uh, we're off to the races here, and it's Nathan going first again, and he has ooh, like to be going is, second with that rack probably. Nathan is sipping an orange drink while wearing his orange. He is definitely Team Narchi. Yeah, no one surprised to see Jason decked out in orange. Um, so yeah, Nathan. As I said, a lot he would have a lot of bingos going second, but he's not. He's going first. And Jason has got a blank and some stuff he'll definitely find with it. So Nathan opens with LEU Lou, which looks like a pretty defensive option given that I don't believe it takes an S even in Collins and um a lot of the bingos that Jason will get after this will at least open, maybe sometimes open a triple. Actually, probably not, actually. But it does look like a pretty reasonable opening. Um, could have opted to exchange there if he wanted. I'm not sure if the leaves were really good enough to warrant it. Yeah, EU, maybe even just minus, maybe just trade the U. I don't know. It's I'm fine with it. It looks like it significantly lowers scores from the next turn on average. Mm. Um, I guess it does give X and Q plays, but and maybe a few eights, but it, it definitely a lot of plays are now not going to be very high scoring with that. So it sort of is a delaying move in a lot of ways towards uh, the scoring. So um, Lou does take a D hook. Um, and we've already had probably the highest scoring play available pointed out of debt debt ease ones who are in debt. So that's uh, that's going to get the most points he can get. But I wonder if he's thinking about just playing. There's definitely bingos that he. We'll see here. Oh, he has Beatlers. Probably he's thinking of playing through the L. Our Feeblest also looks like it's available. Feeblest would be much more normal of a word than Beatlers if he has any doubt, which I doubt Jason does. Jason's pretty strong with his words. It looks like he's taking his time, which uh, sometimes it uh, makes sense to do if you think there's a bingo you're missing or something. Um, the Beatlers versus Debt Ease actually matters at least a little bit from what I can tell because the B that Jason has can combine with Nathan's letters to create the Collins only B Moaner, right. which I feel confident he's going to see and play. Um, whereas after dead ease, the B would not be in the correct place to play that. Oh, and it looks um, like he's going with Beatlers, which B Moner looks like it's going to come down right after. Yeah, I would expect Nathan to see and know that pretty quick, but we'll find out. Um, yeah, Bemoaner, as somebody that's been studying Collins for a little over a year, <clears throat> but still doing so in a way where I'm trying to keep the dictionary straight, um, Bemoaner is a great example of a word that is Collins only, but sure looks like it could easily be TWL, doesn't it? I feel like that's not your garden variety Collins word. As we see Jason with a huge J bingo right out of the bag. Amazing. Um, and it is going to play after Nathan's bingo with Lude. Very nice. All right. There it comes. Good job to Nathan. He spotted it. And down it goes. And... 
I Jason will surely away. waste no time <laughs> here. He set almost, up on his rack. He almost has a huge overlap on top of Bimoner, but there's just one two-letter word that doesn't fit for him <laughs> to Jeez. play that bingo there. Yeah. Um, that would have been awesome if uh, it could have been a six tile overlap. But uh, we know that at Gigos is going to go down with Lude quite fast, I think. And Jason will retake the lead after his early bingo. Two bingos now for him. But it's still so early. It feels like um, it's kind of a, a, it's welcome in Collins for the like an early bingo barrage you, it feels like you can overcome it a little more frequently yeah, yeah. and especially right so Nathan has the possibility of x right XED off of uh, the ANE and Bemoner that's already 45 points and he's only down 52 it's a 7 point difference then at that point so just because yeah, you're he's, uh, He's down tempo after two bingos to start, so that's not so bad. And I do agree with Morris that that looks like a good option here. Just X, it leaves a pretty nice leave, actually, to combine with, for example, the top E or even the second E of Beatlers. The leave of Dirt is going to combine really well with that. And we're also seeing in the chat right now someone saying, be sure to share the stream. We want to echo those sentiments 100%. Uh, as we're now in the second half of the tournament, we want to be able to give this coverage to as many people as possible. Uh, we have to thank people like Ellie Dangor, uh, Christian K, uh, and the whole team who's I sort of would, running the tournament as well. I would like to thank Morris Greenberg for being... And, Best co-commentator I could ask for. And right back at you, Will Anderson. Um, but please share this with people. The more um, we sort of get viewership, the more Scrabble becomes in the mainstream. And uh, that's something we all want here. So sending around the links, Facebooking, you know, Instagramming, Twittering, tweeting, however you sort of share your sort of feed, go for it. Jason is all about the lols right now. Has it spelled out there? L O L Z, ah. the Collins only, along with fun words such as obs, O B V S. Um, Nathan's really having a good a good long think about that. Okay, there he's got X E D. Um, I We're feel getting like... some ship status also. The commenters like this sort of guy love, apparently, between Will Anderson and Morris Greenberg. I will uh, say, though, Will's recently been engaged, so congratulations to Will with his girlfriend. Thank you very Allison. much. Yes, thank you very much, Morris. Um, that was a really amazing moment for me. Um, probably have to give that one the edge over Nationals, maybe. I don't know. But Nationals was pretty special too um why why choose why pick one when i can have it all um so they say um okay we like that play of x and it does make a z spot for jason with zed unfortunately for nathan he can't have known that um well but... even worse it's zach's Oh, yeah. Is gonna oh, come my. Down, I bet. Yeah, it's going to score a boatload. So that's a really nice rebuttal, obviously, although Nathan has Diarist, and it will definitely play. Um, yeah, either Irisated through the ease of Beatlers or just Diarists and Ed Gigos. Either way, we will see Nathan Bingo after Jason Z bombs here. So it's a very. It's been a lively game to start. A lot of uh, high-scoring moves and bingos. Uh, um, there it is. So we approve that play for sure. Yeah, uh, definitely high-scoring. Um, and 
Uh, but keep in mind, right, this is still a game that's well within reach, and uh, it looks like Nathan's going to take the lead again. But we're seeing a lot of back and forth. That's something a lot of people say they like about Collins. Often they feel like even though they're down, there's uh, more possibilities often to get back in the game, and we're kind of witnessing that here. Yeah, I also saw when I was watching some of the Collins coverage in the afternoon, I saw a comment from Kenji saying that some of these games represented the dark side of Scrabble because <laughs> um, not a lot of strategic depth to the choices so far. Um, I see Kenji's point. I see the point of those that like the kind of the back and forth swashbuckling games like this. I think there's room for all of it, in my opinion. And just to be clear, this is regardless of dictionary. Uh, you can have really, really in-depth Collins games. You can have WL games, and you can have shallower ones of either. Um, it all depends on think about a position. And so um, regardless of dictionary, yeah, just try to make the most of it. Not a great draw for Nathan there. <laughs> it's an understatement. Pretty gross. Yeah, pretty unfortunately for him, Jason. No edgy rack is sort of draw for him. Uh, yeah, sorry, Morris. Yes, Jason, I was just going to say also a pretty bad set of tiles. So now, th after that quick start to the game, um, we're going to be slowing down considerably, I think, in the next few moves. What is a Zol? A Zol is a South African term for a cannabis cigarette, according to Ziziva, which is a funny kind of sterile way of referring to a joint. I like it, though. Uh, I'll uh, to incorporate that. Yeah, I've, I can't say I've heard that, but I also can't say that I'm a big toker. Yeah, we have a few teetotalers on uh, this stream, but... Uh, that's why that we're here mean, and not in New why Orleans. We're not, yeah, we don't have Zoles in New Orleans right now. We're just yeah. uh, like watching Scrabble. Ooh, Jason with Toluids. Okay, so I said we were going to slow down, but... Maybe not, because Toluides is going to play through a lot of different ease on the board. Um, I feel like Nathan is almost forced to exchange. I can't imagine what he could play. That would be worth playing. Ah, the chat points out that if... Uh... Jason wins, uh, they will be all leaders, as in they will have the same record in the standings. <laughs> and that would be dope. I agree. <laughs> well, well done. Good punning to all. Um, actually, it's, you know what? I kind of retract what I just said. I think you could play certain things. I saw that Nathan was potentially setting up Fuer F O U E R to the R of diarists that would at least score twenty, leaving a few vowels. That's got to be a little better than exchanging. Um, yeah, Fuer U R also could be okay. So he's gone for a few more points with this play at the cost of keeping an extra vowel. Um, don't love keeping A A E E. Maybe he can get some help. For it, it looks like at the very least, most of the E's are already gone. Still a lot of A's though. Yeah, um, I think it's one of those things that it keeps the pressure on your opponent, right? Um, you a perceived tempo advantage still. So depending on the right things, if you draw the right things, you'll be in good shape. Oh, wow. Lewis points out that had he wanted to, Jason could have played Toluidins through the IN of Dyrus and Viney, which would not very have nice. a letter in the triple. That's very, very cool. nice. Is giving, this one is giving Nathan Akwe 
Yeah, to uh, load in is also four more points, so it's more points and safer. Down comes Akwe, as you pointed out. Yeah, kind of the perfect, even though, you know, your opponent gets a bingo, you're not thrilled about that. You're kind of pretty happy that uh, you can get yeah. rid of all the letters for decent points. You probably couldn't ask for anything much better um, if he is going to bingo, as you point out. Uh, so Jason seems to be on a bit of a hot streak. He's drawn a natural seven out of the bag. I don't think it plays anywhere, but um, nice to draw. He Had could Gigo's play through the straight tea. out of the bag and then Kalathi straight out of the bag. Could play Kalathi through the T as a non bingo in Toluides for 39 points. That's a lot. That's great. And it's a perfect play for him with a lead. Although the only downside is that the C up at the top of the board is going to be kind of annoying to um, deal with. And and, and if he doesn't have, go to the triple, Nathan have, does have some triple triples. He will have triple triples. I expect Jason for sure to play to that T. I'd be shocked if he didn't. But if he were to play Kalathi, um, he would have, for example, coinages or... Um, canoeing, a number of things from the sea. It looks like Jason is setting up Licht, L-I-C-H-T, which scores pretty well. It's legation, though. I think Kalathi is a little better, just to not... It scores only three fewer, and you're not leaving A-A-T, but it's close enough that it's still a strong play. Yeah, so I'm guessing legation is probably going to come down after... Yeah, I would think so. Unless he, unless Nathan wants to, there could be stuff down at the bottom of the board. ING is a word, so if there's something that starts with GE, I don't think there is, but there could be something down low. Um... I wonder, maybe he's thinking of attach now. That, that that looks safer. That has some positional benefits. Does not open that big lane up top. Um, Chat points few. out. Yeah, I think attach actually long term is a smarter move than Kalathi. It's only a three point sacrifice, and that. C up in space is going to be really annoying, as with the L with licked. And basically, any letter there that's reasonable to hit is going to be annoying. Yeah, so, so that's a smart move, we think. Yeah, and so there will be some bingos, right? Like diagnose through the S in Beatlers is available. Well, is there I think... really nothing on the bottom of the board? Wow. Um, I guess I, not I don't know Collins, all the Collins bingos, so there could be one I'm missing, but. I don't see anything right away. Um, but yeah, organize or diagnose maybe will come down. Yeah, I think those are going to be, he's going to be forced to go that route. You know, I'm almost tempted to play Genoa and Ng on the bottom part of the board, except for... Ooh. Space is going to be running out. You kind of need to bingo now before Jason closes more. Well, Bemoners is interested. The, all the S's are gone right now. And Ooh, the other so. blank is gone. So, Genoa, Maybe. if you think you could get a bingo with an S as your blank, you know, it's uh, it definitely makes it interesting. Yeah, that's tough. Right. I mean, it's so specific. It would, it would be so much nicer if the if the Moners was lower down on the board. Then I would think hmm, maybe it's worth it because your S bingos will actually fit. But too much of the time, they won't fit. So I think it's okay to just go ahead and bingo now. Yeah, although Nathan's down six and he's tempo as well right now. So um, it definitely it not the most ideal position necessarily to be in, but... 
Will was sort of saying, probably still better than going with Genoa. <laughs> there is a really cool play here. Um, do we have anybody in the chat that has ever played Boggle with me on Facebook? Please announce yourself, if so, because there is a relevant play on this board. That's really cool. I'll give everyone a moment. Um, it's not like the runaway best play, so if Jason misses it, it's not that damaging. But nevertheless, what is what is the name of the application on Facebook that allows you to play Boggle in the Collins Dictionary? One got it. Correct. Well done, Heidi. That is the right answer, and that word plays on this board through the R Beatlers and IF for a pretty nice score. Failing that, that's, that is not a must. To, Sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, that's getting pretty close to two-pick status, right? Uh, yeah, through disconnected letters with overlaps is the def is my definition of that. We won't go into the whole nomenclature, but a really nice find if Jason's able to get it. Actually, I've seen Jason uh, make plays like that before. I remember I saw him do at Nationals many years ago. He played this great play of Topaz Zine through disconnected letters that I thought was really good. But this is really off the beaten path. Um, he had Pili set up, P-I-L-I. I doubt he'll actually play that. He was probably looking at it with OOP, O-U-P. Um, that's really a dangerous opening. Um, where I mean, the score is even now, but he has tempo on kind of a dead board. And one thing to keep in mind here, right? All the blanks are gone. All the yeses are gone. Um, so now we have to start thinking about what big things could be out there. The K is becoming a scarier and scarier tile as we go on with the ink possibility. Sort of said, ink and Genoa could go last turn. So it's something we might want to be better as uh, this game continues. It's a really good point. Yeah, that K... I mean, the K is good in that spot. It also makes O-U-K, ook. It also plays on top of Diagnose. It also plays with who knows what else. It seems to be a nice tile here, especially with the game so close. Um, tiles in the bag, it looks like there are 19. Oh, wow. Phenomenal. <laughs> Prolific. Wow. That is excellent. Really, really nice find. Very, very impressed. Or can we use to describe that play? Um, I don't know, but I wouldn't use the word prolific to dis. Well, we can say that Jason is a prolific board has prolific board vision or something. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, but that is really special play right there. Um. So obviously that is a big, big improvement over a lot of the other plays that you would be forced to make. Um, so we we love that. Great stuff. Great, great stuff. Um, actually, Nathan also has a pretty slick play available this turn. And what was that? I didn't see it. It's coming. To, oh, he missed it. Is there a G? A, is there a, a G call, e play that? Gma and attached. Oh, 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 wow. Wow. That's great. Attached with that insertion with the E. That's really cool as well. A lot of cool plays available here that you wouldn't think looking at this kind of drecky board, but. Yeah, Jason rewarded for his excellent play, as Craig notes, with a really bad draw. Really, really bad. There is no what, justice sometimes. 
one other thing to point out though is um the wames over wages uh there i'm wondering yeah he's he probably think- keeping ge i would i would imagine just knowing that if he can get a ge play down low it's gonna hit really hard um well, yeah so i think he probably is already conscious of and he will try to use it maybe this turn or if he can't use it this turn <laughs> hope for that k i don't think he will be able to but i mean he could do something with a y e of course but that's not going to be enough okay so jason plays fawn that looks about as good as anything else he could do um i was thinking maybe winna down from aquai that would get an extra tile off but it, of course it would still keep two r's so it's not a huge improvement um so let's see if nathan can i just wonder if he can afford to keep holding on to that g repeatedly what can he do chat's pointing out begirt from the i and prolific that looks quite good yeah that looks really good um, if Nathan is worried, I was thinking maybe Begert is definitely better than the play I was about to suggest, but I was thinking if he wants to keep GE together, he could play Uvert from the OU. Oh, Gerb, of course. That's got to be right. Ooh, he does have a play there. Wow. <laughs> That's going to be a lot of points if he sees it. He has he has Begert set up, which wouldn't be that bad, but Gerb is significantly better. It just scores a lot more, and um, he needs every point he can get here. Yeah, this will definitely be interesting. Uh, he has some time on his clock, too, so he maybe should take it. <laughs> and we think he definitely was aware of the GE possibilities based on Wames over wages, as Morris pointed out. So he's, he's, I feel like he's definitely aware of it and will be looking. So he has a good amount of time. Craig also points out there's uh, 10 constants to five vowels unseen, which is somewhat scary, right? Um, from true. That is Nathan's true. Perspective. And uh, Jason has three of them, so we know at three of them and a Y. Um, I still, I don't know, that does make it pretty close. You really are going to be glad you hung on to your E after Begert, but the extra, what is it? Um, 12 points left on the table there. I wonder how valuable those might be. Let's see what he gets. Ooh, the K. Oh, wow. So he did not K. he did not use the Gerb spot, but now he's drawn all kinds of stuff like Curve, K-E-R-V-E. It's going to score an absolute boatload. And actually, now that I'm looking at it, I'm wondering if I've inferred that Jason didn't have the K last turn. I was going to say he could have played Wank, but you'd want to keep the K over the F anyways on this you board. You always so got it. Whenever you get a chance, you got to Wank. Okay. Well, we'll move on from that one. Uh, but uh, it looks like Nathan will have Kente. Some no, he's got, he's got, he has Curve with the V as a Colin. Ah, uh, very cool. <clears throat> so that's going to really hurt. I know he has Kern set up there, but I have every confidence he would play Curve when given chance. Um, We're getting so many cringe emojis right now in the chat. I meant to get your minds out of the gutter. I meant as a play because of the W and K. All of Um, you sickos out there misinterpreting my innocuous comments. Let's get back to Jason's turn right now. Um, okay, sounds good to me. Um, yeah, what so if can he do? The, that or, right, or is that say fifteen or thirteen? I can't read that that well. Um, so that means there's right now, and it's pretty yeah, that's scary. Right. This pay right now. Oh no! Wait though, Morris. The Begert play wasn't um, committed. Oh, so okay, there's actually uh, three in the bag now. 
There's three in the bag. Okay. So uh, whoever's operating uh, Quackle, there it really is. Helpful, it's it it's right. It just went live. So it's up. Um, yeah, you have to be conscious of that spot right now. So, hmm. This grid, is tough. maybe. Yeah, it's really it's going to be really difficult to find a play that both blocks the spot and scores enough to uh, kind of avoid the threat of being outrun. Also, if Nathan spots it, he has yeah, as Lewis pointed out, eek and attached, which scores a huge amount. Very nice, very nice. So it's going to be really hard after those grin type plays. Okay, yeah, good, good suggestion. Just down S N Y Sny from the S of diarists, the first S to the triple is going to block the big K. He um, could do grin also, right? Just slap an R. Yeah, I'm. Um, yes, I. That would definitely block the threat. But what what do you think about Sny S N Y? That or, could also work. Or sin rather. Either one. Yeah. That at least gets you 18. Um, I'm I just mean, wondering, you're down to two points also at this point. You need to think about what sort of could give you the win, I guess. So if it's the K and an E, I guess, it's, I guess, if there's if he only has one e yeah is there anything about Nathan's because if he has both e's he has eek and a big play so jason has to hope he only has one e yeah i'm thinking uh it's what can bigert tell you i mean why does we, we don't have to give nathan credit for having ke here he obviously has exactly. it a lot, but I feel like if I were in Jason's shoes, I would look at Begert and say if he had another E, he might have played Gerb. I'm not sure I would put it together to realize that Begert was a conscious choice to sacrifice 12 points to keep a vowel and to keep particularly an E so that if you draw the K, you have the big spot available to you, which, I mean, that's a really good play. Um I'm pretty yeah, sure I, I would mean, have played I, Gerb as soon as I saw it, but um of it, but at the same time, three in the bag and Nathan just drew five random two tile keep. You can sort of try to get precise about that for what Nathan could have. But at the same time, five out of seven of the tiles are gonna be completely new to Nathan. Mm -hmm. I think you just wanna more think about, especially under time pressure. If situations is a win 50 50 for me right there's going to be some situations here where like if both e's are in the bag no matter what if um e's in the bag yeah. it's the sailing um but and then there's going to be some if if nathan already has e e k i'm pretty sure he's losing anyway because of eek the eek attached play and yeah all the ink plays yeah so any sufficiently Right, so that that is a strong argument against Grin, because if practically any KE play that's going to do any damage will, as you say, play with attached. So now he's just sacrificed a lot of points only to still get hit really hard. Although and it, it looks has... like Nathan has that lined up, so I'm pretty sure he spotted it and is about to slap it down. Well, he needs to make sure he can't get like V stuck or something after this is one key thing, right? He'll have no more vowels left on his rack. That's true, but I think there are enough vowels open between the A of Wames and the E of Aqua and wherever else. Um, and he should still be able to play his V. Um, Jason did just draw the H, I think. So that's yeah. nice. So Jason just played his R between the G and I-N to play Grin. 
um, as we saw. And there thank we go. you so much to everyone again for uh, helping out with the quackle and such and just making this stream go as smoothly as possible. We really appreciate it. Huge help to us for sure. Um, yeah, I just feel like, man, he's going to get four. How, how can Jason come back from 47? And so points? I think that was sort of my point last turn about you have to start thinking about what scenarios could I actually pull out a win here, right? If he, if Nathan has EKE, you're losing no matter what. It seems like Grin as a play, it blocks the really bad plays, but it's still adding win percentage in those 50-50 scenarios. So really cool suggestion now, though, that could give Jason a lifeline from Sam, and I think just Sam pointed it out. If Jason just plops his H down... <laughs> to make SH, it's going to be annoying for Nathan. He did draw the U, so that will help to negate the setup. Um, yeah, I agree with uh, Matthew. I, I think just given the existence of Eek, I think you have to kind of realize that you're not winning situations where he has EKE. And just let it let it happen if it does, and go for your other wins that can possibly happen. But that's really, I mean, first of all, the attached insertion play is not a gimme to see. It's that's kind of hidden. And secondly, um, it feels like a good idea to block the gigantic K plays. Um, so I think Jason did see Ricey through prolific. I, I think he had those three letters separated. I and he does play his age. Yeah. Okay, so that's going to necessitate cool that Nathan play Erp, which I have every confidence oh, he has it already. So um, he found it within a couple of seconds. Um, yeah, and I think one underappreciated thing we didn't really talk about before is Nathan's choice of diagnose. Um, yeah, more I sense wonder. to play organize. <laughs> I wonder if he okay. unless he thought for some reason he had a significantly better advantage to try to get the attached spot post bingo draw, but that seems somewhat risky uh, upon reflection. Yeah, although at the same time he knows he's still kind of down tempo, so he might need to just bank on getting the K. Uh, and someone from the chat just asked, should he have played OH instead? I don't think so, because Ion was still a possibility, right, uh, with Nathan's rack. Oh, so just Earn instead would have... Right, exactly. So just I, just I, kind of I, think, block, yeah. I think it wasn't really that uh, possible there. Yeah, it's a good thought, though. Um... So I think Jason's probably out of gambits. He can he has to block Vant up high. Uh, yeah, Vant, yeah. So and Naoi with Naoi and keeping Ricey to go out. Hmm, Yom, huh? That's Yeah, having some second now, thoughts. I see about maybe Genoa over diagnose. I, yeah, I mean I I saw it and thought about it it seems pretty strong you can fish for a while for bemoaners although there are plays like decent plays paralleling um lead maybe with something like a g or an f that would cripple the spot but not it's very difficult to eliminate completely um so nathan plays vet so his v is off cannot get stuck and that should bring him home Pretty impressed with uh, Nathan's play in this game. He made a couple of non-intuitive moves. I think Big Gert was like a really good move, especially if he saw Gerb and discarded it on the basis of needing the vowel badly, which it turned Not out. Not sure about that. Like it looks good now, but what if Jason had the K there? 
I guess yeah, there weren't any. I don't know. Point. I I would have played Gerb pretty fast. I think. Um, so I'm trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. Um, uh, I need to study it more. Uh, I yeah, think. yeah, that was an interesting one. So, um, and I guess and the one other thing, the Wames play though over wages that was very savvy. If he was thinking about right, I like that. Not, was possible there. Yeah, oh, wow. that that would have been an excellent find of egg Eggma in that spot. Um, yeah, even the plays that don't reach the triple score enough to be concerning. So. Just trying to get my bookkeeping right as Jason his time dwindles pretty low. And so Sandy just asked in the chat, is this the championship? Uh this is not the championship. So this is just the New Orleans tournament. Um it's a tournament that is a lot of fun, and so it attracts a lot of people both nationally in the US and internationally from Canada, uh, Great Britain, all over the place. So, um, yeah, it's a tournament that in recent years uh, we've tried to add broadcasting, and uh, we hope you guys are enjoying it so far. With that, it looks like the game is concluded. <clears throat> and, yeah, a lot of interesting turns. This has been <laughs> definitely a tournament that's kept us on our feet the entire time. So, just yeah, see. I totally agree. It's been a lot of fun. Um, it's lunchtime for the players and for me as well. Um, I think Morris already ate. Good job to him. Um, I think given that we had a mix of TWL and Collins this morning, it's probably going to be more of the same this afternoon. Maybe? I'm not sure. Um, right, so I think every the first two days, so this is day two, um, there's going to be four total TWL games, four total Collins games. I guess yesterday, since the stream was down for one game, we only had three TWL games. But in the afternoon, you should see two more CSW games and two more TWL games. I'm not sure of the order right now, so stay tuned. And tune in regardless. All Scrabble's interesting. Yeah, so Morris and I are going to be saying goodbye to you guys for now i'll probably pop back in as a chatter but um thanks for watching following along really great comments from everybody um so once everybody gets back from lunch we'll start up the stream again with round i believe 13 so thanks everybody for watching and we'll the two of us will catch you tomorrow morning for the last four games so those should be a real treat um all right so we will uh, see you guys tomorrow.